Turns out his truck did not break down. He's actually been joyriding my SVJ in Miami for five days. So we just caught him right now. Let me show you guys. This is a shot of them driving my SVJ five days after they picked it up on the night. You've got the transport driver right here. So we just found out some really, really, really amazing information. We sent our SVJ down to Miami for a three-day rental. And the shipping company that brought it down there, which at the moment right now will not be named, the SVJ was taken to Miami for three days. It arrived two days late, correct? Yep. So we had to extend the renter farther into his vacation. So it was picked up on a Wednesday and was supposed to be back here Saturday. Well, today is actually Thursday of the following week. And we've been trying to figure out where the car is because the transport company says that his truck broke down, his truck broke down. And uh, it turns out his truck did not break down. He's actually been joyriding my SVJ in Miami for five days. The car is gone now from Miami, five days after he got it picked up. So we just caught him right now. Let me show you guys. Shout out to Car Wash. What was the car wash is called? Uh, Crystal Images in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Super, Shout out. Super nice manager. I'm telling you right now, all you guys that live in Florida, go and wash your car there for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. This is a shot of them driving my SVJ five days after they picked it up on the 9th. And as you can see, you've got the transport driver right here. He's checking all the stuff. Obviously something is broken or something because he's focusing in this area. We, we took some screenshots. I watched the video. So my SVJ was stolen by a transport driver. Tony, man, detective skills on man, police. You We're getting good at this detective me. business. Way yeah. too good. <laughs> We're getting good. Uh, yeah. Tony, let's jump in the Urus. I'm in this uh, beautiful loft Ferrari that my friend Brandon let me use. I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I told him I wanted to buy a loft Ferrari and I was really scared because no one would let me drive it. And, and he had loaned it to James for a little bit. And I said, hey, you know, before you take it back to uh, where you live, can you just stop in Vegas for a day so I could just use it? You know, I want to test drive for like 10 minutes so that I can kind of make sure I want to spend the big money on this car because this car would be my largest purchase ever. And I just bought an and I'm like, I already want to sell it and buy this car, man. This is the greatest car I've ever driven in my life. And I say that with a lot of respect because I've driven tons and tons of cars. But I swear to you, this is the greatest driving experience on planet you Earth. You would take this over a Chiron? I would. And they're the same price. Now, if the Chiron was like two and this was like three, I'd probably buy the Chiron also. But three and three, this is the greatest car. I mean, having this in a Veyron is totally acceptable. Shout out to the really sexy Verde Urus right there. Now available, guys. Now available at Royalty. You like that one? No? Nice. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not my car. Like 20% throttle and it just like, it moves all over the place. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, I've never wanted a car more in my life. The seat is so comfortable. The it seat is, is very comfortable. It is so enjoyable to drive this car. Like I'm telling you, it's amazing. The tires are cold, it's not even warm. It's, it's just absolutely mental. This car is absolutely amazing. Ferrari, I hate everything about your brand and everything about your company, but you killed it on this car. Absolutely. I have to figure out if I'm gonna part with what car, right? I, I'm not unlimited funds here. Uh, I, I could finance your, it. I Honestly, I, I could finance the car. And I don't, I'm not opposed to it. The is 100% gonna go because I bought that car as an investment. Six months, I got a super good deal on the car, I think, and the appreciation's going up. The Veyron is not going anywhere. Can't sell the Veyron. I don't think selling the Veyron makes sense. How could I sell the car that I spent two years rebuilding? I'd rather just let it sit there as art in my house. All right, so, uh, I called the car wash and they sent me a video with him driving it in. So, so this is, I'm, I'm, I just asked, I had a call. 
and give him the whole synopsis because this gets deeper because this kid's connected to all right so i had a phone call with the broker i don't really want to put the phone call on the thing because there was some more sensitive stuff said in that call that was unrelated to this particular situation so the, the transport driver took the car and he was joyriding it for four days he's been telling us that his truck broke down in uh tony can you remind me where it was on the border of el paso and arizona which don't touch. Anyways, the transport driver had just admitted it to the broker that he took the car because I sent him video. I mean, at that point, like video of him at the car wash is whatever. The car is now in the truck on its way to Vegas. What happens next? What happens next is I need the car back, right? I mean, the first thing I want my car back, right? That, that's the, the number one thing. So there's another transporter going to pick up the car right now as we speak. That's coming from Texas 2K to go and intercept the car, bring it here. The guy that drove the car is no longer gonna be delivering the car as well as the other cars. And then if he was taking mine, I heard in this transport truck, there is like $3 million in cars. Yeah, so, a, according to the, the videos that I saw, there's a lot of- There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of nice cars in there. So, you know, I would question everything that's happening. We don't know if there's damage on the car. We don't know what anything. So business. it's so ridiculous. Like why take the risk, you know? And like, why be the guy that's so dumb. He'd be there in an hour. Yeah, I talked um, to the driver. Oh, you did? He called. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and I saw uh, Harrison called me like 3 a.m. Said that the Jazz VJ looked good in the trailer. Yeah. Um, just let me... I'll call you back after I get the car and I'll let you know. Cool. And just remember, that wasn't the guy that was in Florida yet. So he's just a co-driver that, that came and subbed in from where the car, we picked up the car in El Paso or wherever it was. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Bye. Someone's. <laughs> you can't have such conflicting stories. He's gonna tell me that he just got the information from mm -hmm. his driver, right? Yep. He's out of the. He doesn't know. He's just getting information. So like he plays the I'm just a broker role, right? When any when any problem goes down, and then he plays the I've got a company credit card role, and these guys are all my guys. These are my trucks. These are my people, right? When you're doing the right thing, right? So. He, goes back and forth and that's the that's the problem with the industry. And I'm I'm not gonna say that they don't have I don't give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean they're driving over across the world. Who did he say was you paying know? for the Penske truck? He said his company credit card was paying for it. that's what I asked him. I said, dude, like uh, if you got a Penske truck, right? Like show me the invoice. Show me something. I mean I don't know what is what's the you said, who? You said, you said I, I don't want you to have to pay for it. I heard you say that to him. The whole thing is is that this truck it's not gonna be a Penske truck now because what he told me is another driver came and intercepted it. Hmm. Right, so they didn't have to get a Penske truck, so they left the truck there, and the other driver flew to Colorado to buy new trucks. Yeah, it's just been a it's been a complete circle. I don't understand why. Like, why would you keep saying anything when we have a car that goes down at royalty? What do we say? The truth. If I sell a car, <laughs> like if I sell a car, and it's like it sucks because like sometimes I just have to sell cars whenever I feel like it, mm -hmm. and people have those cars rented, kind of like the um, uh, blue SV. The blue SV, right? And now it's going to be the SVJ. Well, it's been the SVJ for the last five days. No, but what I'm saying is that that's that's no, not available. That's not available because it's not here yet. But like, people have pre bookings on the SV, and sometimes you just got to sell it. I don't t tell them that. Oh, there's a tire and it's missing. It's in the Bellagio, and the, the police impounded the car. I'm just like, no, man, I sold the car, dude. Sorry. Like, it's a business, you know? Like, I should make up some really elaborate stories that don't make sense, so the customers start feeling like sad for me you know like it's like <laughs> finally the svj is here and yeah. it's the 18th it's the 18th so right. like, nine days late yep. or wait no hold on it's it picked five. up nine days ago yeah it's been picked up nine days ago I'm trying to do the math <laughs> in my head man so essentially really the, good the, at math <laughs> it's like six in the morning right now okay <laughs> I have no idea breakfast burritos from mario thank you mario what's up hopefully no land cruisers falling off today <laughs> now hopefully no svj is falling off today don't even say it. <laughs> nice to see a YouTuber. You know, most places I go start videotaping. They're like, "What are you doing?" It's a new world, right? Yeah, it's a there's new way. everywhere. And if you're you not know, on the internet, I'm telling you, like 2024. If you don't have your own like content, your own channel, your own somewhat streaming system, you're gonna be a nobody. How much of the internet's traffic goes to YouTube? Oh, you know, I have no idea. I bet. Pick, pick a number. In the in the mid mid to high 50s. I took a little YouTube class that said 35%. 35% still... of all the internet's traffic goes on YouTube. YouTube. Fucking Google, man. Well, if you notice, there's no Penske truck. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait until we get the full story, see what actually happened, call back, we'll find out. Oh my God.
Wednesday before. Yeah. It's been like a whole week. Well, the previous transport driver was driving yeah. it around. I've got it on GPS yeah. going all over Miami. Yeah. And he took right it to a car wash. Owner. Well, this. Yevgeny Yev or Yev. Or yes, Yev. Right? He calls me on well, Monday. Play, drive a truck for me. I don't have a driver. I was like, yeah, and I was okay. on my vacation. I, I'm any, down to make now. some more car hauling content. So. I haven't on my old channel. All right. So. And then Monday, the, he, he doesn't call me all day. And then. Tuesday, he's like, okay, uh, show up Tuesday night. And uh, all the cars are ready to go. And here they are waiting to be loaded. And then I was like, I'm so embarrassed that this trailer, I trolled this trailer when I seen it first time, like five years ago. So this was his trailer? Yeah, well, look at the writing on the wall. Like, why would you want to irritate people with millionaire out of transport? Who thought of that? I got to recover that up. So you picked up the car Tuesday night, which that's actually yeah, when the GPS went, says it left. Yep. So you yeah, just and drove we were here nonstop. Nonstop. Here. Yeah. Last night we dropped the Urus in Phoenix, and then four more hours here. So we you are. you know that you know what they've told me this whole time? Truck broke down or something. They right? said that the truck had no headlights in El Paso, Texas, and they sent me GPS locations of this truck, oh. like pictures of the truck in Texas. Right. This guy told me they're in Texas. Truck is broken. Yeah. We can't get the parts for it. We're renting a truck at Penske. I'm at the Penske office right now. I just paid. This is how we and make I'm gonna good Penske. car hauling content. This is insane to me. Do you know who the is? Yeah, he's like one of the brokers that we deal with told me that the truck that was leaving Miami Monday was gonna wait until Wednesday, take the car, and it would leave Wednesday at, like literally the second it got picked up, it would leave immediately, and then it'd be to us on Saturday. So Saturday comes, Sunday comes, Monday comes, Tuesday comes, Wednesday comes, and now we're to Thursday and Friday. Hey, so it's Friday like, already? yeah, last night he was like, thick with some narrative over the truck breaking down. I was like, man, we didn't agree to that. We agreed for me to drive your, your car hauler good, but for me to say white lies, uh, I got my own friends to make, you know what I mean? It's the biggest problem is is that he drove my car around Miami. Well, and, I told and him, that's a real I asked issue. him what happened. He said, but how did it get dirty? The car needed to be picked up. It was sitting outside when we got there. And it was wet. But Body it went to a car wash on Monday. Well, That's how we caught him because the guy that owned the car wash sent us a video footage of the transport driver driving my car into a car wash and getting it clean. Today I was like, I, he, he said, they're going to be so mad when you come to get the car or when you deliver the car. I was like, oh, those are my favorite customers. I make friends with those. And he goes, no, you got to tell them. I was like, I'm not going to tell them anything, but tell me what happened. He goes, they needed the car picked up on some day, like two days from when he could pick it up. Yeah, because the customer was uh, rental. Customer Basically, was no. What, what actually happened was this is this. It turned into this because in the beginning, um, the transport driver picked it up a day late, and he was three days late to drop the car off in Miami. So the renter had to extend his vacation to take the three days. Right. Yeah. Instead of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he had to rent the car Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just like be honest with me and like tell me the truth. The guy's late, he hasn't left yet, man. Sorry, we can't get a driver. The other driver doesn't feel like it. Thank God it's Friday. Um, <laughs> man. Tips, please. Este matorral contando este kida. No tips, okay.